So a very good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, so uh, today we'll be discussing how to generate the delay. Okay, now what is delay? So for example, suppose you are, uh, uh, suppose uh, an LED is glowing. Okay, now if an LED is glowing, if the uh, frequency, I mean, uh, suppose uh, this LED is uh, turning on and turning off, turning on and turning off. And this is this is repeated simultaneously. Okay, simultaneous means it is continuously. So uh, when you will be able to see, when you will be able to see the uh, turning on and off. I mean, it will glow for some time and it will be off for some time. So this some time that is the delay. That means it will be uh, this LED will be turned on for uh, five seconds. It, this LED will be turned off for two seconds, like this. So this five second or two second, this is the delay. <clears throat> okay. Now delay, uh, it is it is required where uh, if you can remember the operation of uh, in the case of eight zero eight five microprocessor, there it was uh, it was a program like it was an instruction was NOP no operation. So when it was used, it was used uh, where this kind of operation, whatever examples I have given, that uh, the LED ne needs to be turned on for some uh, some uh, amount of time and it's, it needs to be turned off uh, for a, a certain amount of time. In these cases, <clears throat> this delay program is required. Now this delay program, we can generate the delay in 8051 in two ways, okay? Uh, by using registers, I'm uh, writing over the paper. Just see number one generation of your delay. So I'm uh, telling everyone to keep their copy with them because uh, they may need to turn on turn on their video and uh, they need to show their copy. Okay. Now generation of delay <clears throat> that can be done in two ways. Number one is using registers. Okay. And using timer or counter. Clear? By these two ways, we can, uh, I mean, the 8051 can generate the delay. Now, first we'll uh, discuss about uh, how to generate the delay using a register. Okay. So at first, you can see in the PPT that uh, the central processing unit to execute an instruction takes a certain number of clock cycles. These clock cycles are referred to as machine cycles. Okay. That means the length of the machine cycle depends on the frequency of the crystal oscillator. Now we know that the crystal oscillator that is used to operate uh, the 8051 microcontroller, that is 11.059 to near about 12 megahertz. Okay. Now one machine cycle lasts for 12 oscillator periods. So if one machine cycle lasts for 12 oscillator periods, so what is the uh, one oscillator period that is one twelfth of the machine cycle or we can also see that one twelfth of the crystal frequency clear now there is an example that for a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator the calculation of machine cycle will be as followed so that is one twelfth uh, this one machine cycle lasts for uh, 12 oscillator period that is again, that is decided by the manufacturer itself. We cannot change it, okay? This thing, whatever I have underlined, this is said by the manufacturer. We cannot 
change them okay so for a, a 16 megahertz crystal so the machine cycle will be 16 megahertz by 12 okay and the machine cycle will be inverse of this clear or not just see the example that uh, the 16 megahertz crystal oscillator uh, if we use this then the machine cycle calculation will be first it it will be divided by 12 as one machine cycle lasts for 12 oscillator periods okay so uh, it will come like 1.333 megahertz there, there is written and the machine cycle will be inverse of this particular frequency because we know that a machine cycle is nothing but in time the unit will be time okay so uh, the time will be in sec microseconds so it is converted so in seconds some some uh, 10 to the power minus 3 or 10 to the power minus 6 will be there so <clears throat> Uh, is it clear how to uh, calculate the machine cycle? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, coming to the first program. So you need the copy right now. Because unless you write over the copy, you will not be able to understand. Okay. Now take the first example. Now look into my copy. That is move R0 hash FFH. Okay. DJNZ R0. Now the labeling is there. This is the uh, actually this is the relative address. Now here. Okay. So forget about this relative address for now while calculation calculating the delay okay now uh, let us start how to calculate the delay of this particular program now please keep in mind just a minute uh, suppose i think you are having some problem with the visibility yeah now tell me this is a, this FFH is the hexadecimal number. Okay. So if we convert it, this FF can be converted into decimal, then what will be there? FF means now FFH means how, uh, what I mean, this is equivalent to, uh, how, how much uh, decimal number? Can you tell me anyone? Said two fifty five. Yes, very good. So this is <clears throat> two fifty five. Okay. In decimal, so please uh, <clears throat> give attention. Otherwise, uh, this will create a, an ambiguity. Now, see in the first first iteration, move R zero comma hash FFH. Okay, then it will come to the next memory location. I mean, next instruction that is DJNZ R zero here. Now DJNZ, the operation is going on, decrement the content of R0 and jump if not zero. That means at the first iteration, the decrement the content of R0, that means in the after first iteration, we are writing after the first iteration, the R0 content is Fe because it is decremented by one. Clear? <clears throat> now in Fe, so how many times rotated? One time. After first iteration, one time rotated. So after second,
after second iteration r0 value will be f d so again this is not equals to 0 again this will repeat so how many times it will repeat how many times this instruction will be repeated sir until the value of uh, the second will be unless the value will the value of uh, second place will be zero second means sir d d what d sir r0 will be zero until the value of r0 will be zero yes so until the value of r0 will be zero so how many times it will be repeated how many times i want the number so 14 times why 14 why 14 why I mean whatever you have told now why so because of uh, till then the number will become zero that look don't don't uh, 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 means don't mute yourself unless i i tell <clears throat> now uh, ff equivalent decimal number is what 255 255 so 255 so how many times it will rotate kab tak ye r0 hoga matlab kitne count tak jane par ye r0 zero hoga 254 254 why 4 254 4 ye digits ye hoga r1 fir 255 ho jayega 255 तो लास्ट वाला तो काउंट होगा जीरो जब तक नहीं होगा तब तक होगा रानी समझ में आया यस सर ओके नाउ यू कैन म्यूट योरसेल्फ या सो सो 255 टाइम्स इट विल रोटेट दिस डिजेंजेड आर हियर लूप दिस लूप ओनली ओके बिकॉज़ वंस दिस इज लोडेड दिस दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन विल नॉट बी रिपीटेड ओनली this loop will continue 255 times understood or not yes sir so the first uh, the one first instruction always constant yes <clears throat> because here no uh, labeling has been done in the first uh, first line first instruction only what what is there only r0 is loaded by some immediate data that is ff okay this only this thing is done but after that okay. after that this particular djnz instruction this is repeated again and again so how many times it will be rotated that is 255 times for a simpler example maan lo ke yahan pe 0 1 tha theek hai ff ke jagah 0 1 tha to ये फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन के बाद ही तो जीरो हो, हो जाता था सेकंड इंस्ट्रक्शन में ही सेकंड जब इटरेशन होता था तभी ये जीरो हो गया है ना तब ये और नहीं रोटेट करता था दैट मींस वट एवर द वैल्यू इज स्टोर्ड इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर रजिस्टर अप टू दिस मेनी टाइम्स दिस लूप विल बी रोटेटेड क्लियर एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क क्लियर सर Avinash Shukla, it is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, so how many times it will be rotated? That is final. Okay. Now we need to calculate the machine cycles. Okay. Now, machine cycles, to calculate the machine cycle, we will go back to the instruction part. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the instruction part. So here DJNZ, you can see 
DJ and Z are in. Okay, so this has been used in this particular instruction. Okay, and Now here, just see this instruction, sorry, not this one. This instruction is there, okay? Clear or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so this machine cycle includes one machine cycle. So we will write one over here. Okay, look into the copy. Okay, and as one instruction is used along with the register, so this is one byte and another relative address. So this is the eight bit address. So it will be two machine cycles. Is it clear or not? Clear or not? Sir, repeat it. Just a minute, yeah. So I'm writing over here, okay? Move R0, comma, hash, FFH, and DJNZ, R0, comma, here. Here is the relative address, okay? So we are not, a, uh, Here we'll write machine cycle. We'll not take uh, uh, time for ca calculating this uh, relative address, okay? I know that you can calculate it. Machine cycle. So this is one byte instruction or not? Okay? Now what are the operations are, uh, has been done? Move R0 comma hash FFH, that means the FFH has been inserted into this R0 register. So what are the, I mean, what kind of operation is there? Read or write? By executing, what is the operation? Read or write? Write operation. Write operation. So one machine cycles only, okay? So, and DJNZ R0, that means this instruction first checks this R0 register, okay? Not first, one of the, uh, one of the thing is, uh, it will check whether it is zero or not, but at first it will decrement R0, okay? So decrement means जो भी content था ये R0 के अंदर that will be decremented by one, okay? That means after this instruction, FF minus one that is equals to FE that was already uh, discussed. So this FE will be written onto this R0 register, and after that it will check that or it will read that whether the R0 register is zero or not. So what are the operations are going on here? Read and write both. Write yes. Both. yes, so two machine cycles, clear or not? Clear or not? Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Okay, now for <clears throat> this instruction, particular this line, take this line only, okay? Take only this line. Now for this line, we know that for one, one instruction, I mean, uh, for execution of uh, this instruction for one time, the machine cycle will be two. For, for the execution of two times, how many machine cycles will be there? Two, four. 
अच्छा टू फोर यस देन थ्री थ्री एग्जीक्यूशंस सिक्स फोर एग्जीक्यूशंस एट फाइव टेन यस सो फॉर टू फिफ्टी फाइव रोटेशंस फाइव वन जीरो टू फिफ्टी फाइव इनटू टू दैट इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव इनटू टू clear yes sir now for the total one this will be also there for the total program so it will be added understood or not yes sir understood <clears throat> up to this any questions So why you have added one data for this particular instruction? Because this is this has the one one machine cycles to calculate the total delay of the program. This is the delay program. We need to calculate this one also. And as as I have said that this instruction will be only once, only once for loading the value into the R zero. But this instruction will be repeated two fifty five times. clear so that this one will be added so this is the total number of machine cycle okay understood yes sir okay now going back now here <clears throat> in the ppt you can see that the machine cycles will be calculated the machine cycles will be calculated by dividing this one okay so every machine cycle lasts for 12 oscillator periods okay understood or not so how many how many how much time will be uh, will be required that is divided by 12 into if we take uh, 12 megahertz as a crystal frequency so no problem so 12 12 will be cancelled out and the result will be as the so delay will be delay will be 511 microseconds understood or not understood or not so the the denominator 12 what was what was that divided by 12 that is for how many machine cycles how many machine cycles are there 511 now uh, just write in your copy is what are the what are the things why this 12 this 12 is the megahertz right look into the copy and uh, write in your copy because otherwise you will not be able to understand so that 12 megahertz uh, was crystal oscillator sorry the 12 megahertz this is the uh, i was uh, this this was i'm taking the another paper okay so the total number of machine cycles of machine cycles that was 255 into 2 plus 1 that is 511 clear up to this yes sir now look into the ppt 
that one machine cycle lasts for 12 oscillator periods okay understood so if one yes, if one machine cycle lasts for 12 uh, uh, 12 oscillator periods then for 511 machine cycles that will be 511 by 12 okay and now we can see this machine cycle will be the i mean uh, for the uh, division of this this will be what the time will be inverse of the frequency okay so this will be 511 into 12 by 12 that will be 511 megahertz uh, sorry microhertz uh, microseconds clear or not so if we calculate this by uh, suppose uh, this is the megahertz one okay now if we take 11.0592 in place of 12 megahertz then it will come like 511 into 12 by 11.0592 megahertz okay so uh, it will come like 511 into uh, 1.085 microseconds okay so whatever this will be this will be like uh, 554 uh, point something so microseconds okay so this is the delay okay now the formula of the delay is we can conclude is like this number of machine cycles into 12 divided by oscillator frequency understood this is the formula of the particular delay calculation is it clear yes sir okay now write down the second program this one write down the program is it uh, have we completed complete sir okay so now you have to calculate that particular delay okay and uh, also write the second program i mean uh, actually the third program
Is it completed? Completed? Complete, sir. Okay. So these two will be your homework. Okay. So in the next class, we'll be discussing about the <coughs> results and all. Okay. Okay. So. Sir. Yeah. Uh, can you just explain the second program? Just in. Okay, I'll do this. But please record this one. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, now, now try. Done, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, so back to this one. In the second program, that is, uh, what, what, what are the things are uh, going on? That first, this R0 register has been loaded by 255. 255, no notation has been given, like H is not there. So this 255 is the decimal data. So you need not to uh, convert uh, this data to decimal. Similarly, in the second instruction also, move R1 comma hash 2000, uh, 200. That also means the data is, is the uh, decimal one. So you need not to convert it to its equivalent uh, decimal format. Now the, uh, you can see this, he, there are two loops. One is here and another is here one. So in the here loop, how many times it will be rotated? So you can do it like this. Just take this one first. Okay. And then the total one. Clear? This is the hint I can give you. Just like the first program. Okay, sir. Okay. So similarly in the third program also, there are three loops. The number of loops have been increased. Okay. To increase the delay. Okay. So you need, need to calculate the delay time in microseconds. Clear? 
yes sir clear okay so this will be your homework uh, on tuesday we'll be back okay thank you you can leave the class thank you sir